Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another liqueur video. And what we're going to do today is go through the liqueur cabinet. Um, one thing I like to do is uh, clear off the blackberries that we have here because I went blackberry picking and um, we picked some fantastic blackberries. So I've got some two liter jars here, basically. Okay, two liters, I think it's about uh, 60 ounces or so, 60 plus ounces or so. Uh, so we're going to make blackberry liqueur and we're going to make pomegranate, uh, um, pineapple liqueur. We already made pomegranate liqueur. We're going to make pineapple liqueur. And pineapple liqueur we're, we're making because uh, through the previous liqueur videos that we made, people were asking, you know, have you made liqueurs with this, liqueurs with this, liqueurs with this? And some of the stuff I had made liqueurs with, and I said, you know, my recommendation, if it was good or not, or my taste, uh, some of the stuff I hadn't. And someone ended up making some uh, pineapple liqueur, and they said it tasted phenomenal. So we're gonna make some pineapple liqueur, okay? So there's two things we're gonna, two types of liqueurs we're gonna make, uh, blackberries and pineapples. We're gonna clear off the older, blackberry liqueurs that I have because I've gone through the well too many times right because what I've ended up doing is uh, when we made the blackberry liqueur when the vodka usually I make it with vodka there's a couple here that we have with gin one anyway we have with gin but when the vodka finishes I would just pour it up pour more vodka in there with a little bit of sugar but I ended up doing that, that too many times and the uh, blackberry liqueurs that we have here they're really strong I might filter them out i have some uh, cheesecloth that i'm thinking about getting the the vodka but it tastes really strong so what i might do we just might you know we're going to sample some of it i might take the rest of them and drop them off somewhere i'm pretty sure there's a place that i know that some people might appreciate it okay uh the other thing we're going to do if we have any vodka left over is we might top up some of the other liqueurs that we made previously in uh, we put out i don't know i think this is either the third uh third or fourth liqueur video we put out right um on one of the liqueur videos we ended up making blueberry liqueur cherry liqueur and uh, strawberry liqueur and if you've watched that video let me show you what's left of the blueberry liqueur right this is the blueberry liqueur okay so we've gone through a fair bit of it i haven't done a refill of this yet so this was one iteration okay here's our cherry liqueur and cherry liqueur is absolutely phenomenal as well okay as you can tell i haven't changed uh on that video i mentioned i was going to put legit labels on these things i haven't put legit labels on these things so this is our cherry liqueur okay and we've gone one iteration of this as well uh I would have loved to have shown you the strawberry liqueur, <laughs> but we finished it. We finished the strawberry liqueur through one iteration. Um, I might have done another, uh, poured a little bit more on with the sugar, and we ended up eating all the strawberries as well. So the strawberry liqueur, huge, huge hit. Super, super delicious. Okay, highly recommend. And I believe in a another video we ended up making pomegranate liqueur last winter during pomegranate season and this is what's left of the pomegranates and i've gone through two iterations of this so we're going to try to eat all this up i'm not going to go through another iteration of this i'm not going to fill this up because usually what we do it the fruits up to here so i would just add this much more if you see right let me show you there isn't that much liquid here i might do a little bit I might do a one more iteration where I just pour enough vodka that it fills it up to here, okay? And that will be it for this. And this coming winter, we're gonna, we'll end up uh, making more pomegranate liqueur, okay? So first thing I wanna do is, with that long introduction, right? First thing I wanna do is, I wanna go through the blackberries because I wanna create the space here okay so let's bring these out let me show you what we got i'm just going to bring out the full-blown blackberries i mean this is i don't know how long this is and there's 
a little bit of liqueur there, right? So I want to taste these. If they're good, I'm going to keep them. If they're way too strong for me, uh, it's not to my taste, I'm going to put these aside and drop them off somewhere, okay? Uh, give them away. I'm pretty sure there's an area in town where, will, where people might appreciate them, right? Uh, if they like the really strong taste, right? Here's another one. And you can tell, this one's really old. This blackberry liqueur is super old. Like, I went to the well way too often on these. I love blackberry liqueur. Blackberry and cherry liqueurs are the first two liqueurs that um, I ended up making, right? And then from there, it just grew to what you see here, okay? I tasted this one. This one was crazy strong. This one was, uh, I believe it was the pulp of uh, blackberry jam that we made. So I, you know, I do experiment a little bit. So I took, I've taken pulp from jams we make and add vodka to them and a little bit of sugar just to kick up the sweetness a little bit. Usually it doesn't come out good with the pulp of the, when you mill the jam, right? Uh, and we've done a little bit of milling uh, with crab apples and stuff. And we're going to do, we're going to make blackberry uh, jam tomorrow during a live stream. And uh, well, during a live stream, we're not going to be recording it, right? Because uh, I can't set up all the different camera angles. Uh, but in general, I would stay away. I'm not going to do any more, uh, try to make any more liqueurs from the pulp of the jams that we end up making. It's just not worthwhile. It's better to do it with the fresh fruit, not the cooked fruit. Uh, with the with the milled stuff, right? This is uh, I'm not sure if you can see that. Yeah, you can see that for sure, right? Oh, I would bring it down for the live stream as well, right? So you can see that. Okay, this one I've tasted too is crazy strong. Here for the people on live stream because that angle is a little different. Let's make sure they see it as well, right? So we're gonna do a little bit of sampling. Uh, this one I sampled, uh, this was 2000, I put a little note here, right? 2012, uh, gin and blackberry. It's not my thing. I like the vodka. Um, and this is, I think I've gone to the wild way too often on this. We'll, we'll taste this guy as well. What else we got? This one. It's just straight up blackberry and it's I think this is gonna be crazy strong so before we load up too many things here let me put these guys on the side so we don't accidentally spill anything and I've brought little uh, spoons here that I'm just gonna dip it in and taste and I have a box let me bring out the box just in case and I had that uh, here, let me show you. I have these little cheesecloths that I thought about putting in the jars and then pouring these things in there and letting the alcohol just uh, fall down into the jar and taking the pulp. And you could do baking with it, pretty sure, with brownies, right? Take some of the stuff, it would be like a rum ball. Uh, but I might keep one to try it out, right? But we need the space. We're going to be making new new liqueur, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do it this way. Okay. What I'm gonna do? Let's put the box here just in case, and slowly, if we're gonna put them away, yeah. Let's bring this out, and I got a, I got a few spoons here because we're not gonna double dip, right? So take a look. It's a live stream. Beautiful. And here, let's see if I can show it to you. I don't want to do any spillage just coming up to the ledge. Right? So let's do a little taste on this. Take a look. Live stream. Here's the liqueur. Let's do a little taste of this. It's 
not that bad. Let's put this one back. <laughs> this one's not bad. I thought because it was so, um, what do you call it? Basically disintegrated the blackberries. I thought it, it would be a lot stronger, but not bad. So we're gonna put this one here. There's one more, a couple of more I gotta take a look at as well. But before we do that, I wanna this one's tight. Locked up. Well, I would have to bang it to open it, right? What you can do with if there's a lid like this, you could go grab this and go ta 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 But it's going to be too loud. Should we try? No, it's going to be too loud. So this one we're giving away. <laughs> okay, let's try. This one I'm pretty sure we're going to give away, but let's taste it anyway. Okay, since I don't have to put the spoon in there, we're going to use the same spoon. So take a look. All right. Let's see if we can pour this. Okay. Nice. <laughs> Wowzers. Okay, this one we're going to give away. This one we're giving away. That was during the phase that was making them really strong, I think. Let's check out this one. This has got a fair bit of liquid in it. So this might be... Let me clean my palates a little bit. Spillage, oh, nice. It caught it into the. <laughs> I'll show you. Ooh, that is strong. Our, our shot glass caught it. That is crazy strong. Okay, this one we're going to give away too. Okay. Let's put this one away. Whoever gets that is going to be happy. Let's check out this one. I don't know what this one's going to be like. Okay, I'm going to have to dip a spoon in there, so I'm going to grab a different spoon. Let's check it out. It's actually a good idea to do this every now and then. This is definitely from the pulp of, take a look, like dark, dark, dark. This is for the live stream gang, right? Super dark. Here's this guy, right? Let's have a little taste of this. give it away not bad not bad someone will be happy with this someone will be very happy with that the gin let's give the gin a try let's give the gin a try Pretty light colored, right? So that's pretty.
pretty good. We're going to keep this one. This one's actually really good. Nice. Okay. This one we keep. Okay, let me put my... Like a little... Uh, I think I showed you guys these last time. These are like little firecracker tanks that I've got as a gift like 20 years ago that I've kept. So let's put these guys here. They're decorating our liqueurs. Let's check this out. This guy. This guy is like the the jam pulp as well. Okay. This one, uh, I believe it was blackberry and blueberry together. Let's crack it open and see what it's like. And you do get sticky when you're handling these things. So what I've done is brought a rag that's wet. So I'm just wetting my my fingers. Part of it is wet, part of it is dry, so I wet them and dry them. Just to keep the stickiness to a minimum, maybe. Okay, let's check this out. Nice color to this. Look at that. Look at the color on this one. Right, it's live stream. Hard to show you guys this. Right, don't want to do any spillage. Check it out. That is nice. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna keep this one. This is almost on the same level of the, as the other one that we're giving away, but uh, it's gentler for me. So we'll keep this one. We should give a rating of this too. Let's bring the sticky. My. So all I'm gonna do is just gonna write down, since I'm sampling, I might as well tell myself what the rating would be. Um, I would give this one a seven out of 10 maybe an 8 out of 10. Let's give it an 8 out of 10. It's pretty nice. Blackberry, blueberry. That way I know what it is. Let's put that guy there. And this bottom one was just straight up blackberry. Yeah, this is just straight up blackberry. And what did we give it? Uh, it was pretty good. We'll give that one an 8 out of 10 too. I should make it a 7 out of 10 on that one. Blackberry. Berry. That way at least all of our jars are going to have these yellow stickies. All right. So let's put that one there too. This guy here. Okay. This guy. Uh, added sugar in 2008, blackberry and blueberry strong 2016. So we made this in 2016, and I believe in the previous live stream we added sugar to this. So I'm gonna, I haven't tasted it since, uh, since the time we added the sugar. So what I wanna do is taste it right now. Let's see what it's like. It's beautiful dark, like here, let me bring it over. Take a look. Right, it's like black. Take a look. Right, it's got the blueberry color to it, and it'll have the blackberry taste in it as well. Right, mm, this is sealed up. Let's bring a spoon, long spoon. Actually, for this one, I'm going to use a big spoon. Let's check it out. Um, I believe in the last video when we tasted this, it was really strong. It was uh, my taste. Uh, I didn't like it too much, right? So we added sugar to it. So let's see what the sugar has done. What the flavor of it. Take a look at this. Look at the color. It's like dark. Wow. 
what a unique taste. Okay, what I said previously of not using pulp from jam, uh, cancel that. This one was the blueberry blackberry pulp that we made jam and we milled it. So when I first put it together, I guess I didn't add enough sugar because I assumed the milled stuff, uh, the pulp was gonna be sweet enough. It wasn't. So all I needed to do was kick up the sugar content for my taste, right? And that tasted great. That tasted great. That tasted fantastic. I'm gonna give this a nine out of 10. The reason I'm doing this is uh, I found out when I get uh, friends over, if they've never had liqueur, I don't wanna give them something that's really, really sharp, really strong, because that might turn them off, right? So usually I give them stuff that's, I rate higher, which is gentler. So the rating nine out of 10 is not necessarily, um, it's more associated to uh, my taste, right? Which is sweet, gentle, and stuff like this. Some people really like it sharp. And if they do, I have some stuff here that I give it to them that just has that kick to it, right? And I'll show you which ones those are. As soon as we go through these, here's a bigger tank. <laughs> right? This one, okay, this one. Check this out. Now, in the previous live stream, I mentioned that I thought this was Blackberry that we had. And it's not. This is Elderberry. Okay, we put out a video with uh, where uh, we called it talking about geophysics and harvesting elderberries to make liqueur. And this is the elderberries from that time where we harvested it it was really strong when I tasted it before uh, added sugar in 2018 so this one as well made in 2016 okay and it was really strong in last year's liqueur video that we made right I didn't like it very much so I added more sugar in 2018 I would have to look back to see how much sugar we added I don't know uh, but take a look at the color of this first of all elderberry talk about like beautiful color i'm not going to tilt it over on the live stream people uh for the hd camera because it's gonna spill uh, but look at this look at this let me bring this over let's see right Like if this was a lake, you wouldn't go swimming in it. You think dragons live there or something. So nice and dark. Let's have a taste of this. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That is fantastic. Holy. I was almost going to say, don't try elderberries do elderberries but add um, sugar make sure it's sweet so this is that is that is really nice i haven't been sampling this since we added the sugar and i haven't given this to anyone uh, because it was too sharp it was too strong that's fantastic i'm gonna put 10 out of 10 on this one really i really like it and it's got the, uh, it's a different berry. Like it's not like strawberry, blueberry, blackberry. It's, it's elderberry, but it's very unique flavor. That is fantastic. And elderberry is uh, medicinal. I don't know uh, on what level. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Let's check out this one. This one I just put down. This is what I put down. Strong blackberry, right? 
So we gotta taste it. Let's check it out. Ooh, that elderberry is crazy. Wow. That was. What's it called? Affertif or we're gonna use a small spoon for this one. Let's check this out. Again, this is uh, just straight up blackberry. Uh, okay, and I believe I added sugar to this. I'm not 100% sure because I didn't make a note of it, but. Ooh, that is crazy strong. It's sweet too. Not bad. Not bad. This would be great for someone that really loves, uh, loves a strong kick. Uh, yeah, we're gonna keep this one too. I'm gonna put kick, kick in this. Kick, strong. Uh, I'm giving the eight out of ten. The reason I'm giving the eight out of ten is because I put kick on there, so I know it's a seriously strong flavor. Okay. So those are all the blackberry. Uh, so those are all the blackberry stuff that we have, right? That we went through. So I put four, four of the jars to give away, right? That means I can fill up the space with new things. So how about we go through? Um, let's make blackberry and uh, pineapple liqueurs, okay? And then we'll find out how much vodka we have left over and what we'll do we'll maybe top up if we have any left over top up some of the uh some of the other jars if you know the ones that need it actually there's a few here that do need it uh, i do need to go go get additional vodka but we'll see how much we got left right so let's because we've been making um We've been tasting the blackberry stuff. Let's make blackberry liqueur first. Okay. So let me put this here. Let's put the jar here. And I'm going to put this. I want to put this under it. So the jar, this guy doesn't go. Makes it loud. Okay. And these are blackberries that we ended up harvesting uh, two days ago. Two days ago. We went blackberry picking and apple picking. We got here, let me show you this. These are the, if you recognize these buckets, these are the buckets that we had uh, when we were jarring honey, right? We put out a video where I collect, uh, I buy, not collect, but I end up buying every year, basically, uh, local, unpasteurized, unfiltered, well, one filter anyway, you can see, see a little bit of bee parts in there too, right? So basically raw honey, if I can get it, every year we end up buying, right? Uh, last year we ended up buying a fair bit, so we ended up jarring a whole bunch of it. I forget how much of it we ended up jarring, like six of these things, I think, right? So whatever is empty, we end up keeping these because they are fantastic buckets, right? They're amazing for picking fruit. So let me show you these blackberries. And these are fantastic blackberries, really. We've been munching on them a little bit, okay? And they're really good. Like, look at this, right? Let me show you guys this. Super delicious if it focuses, there it is, right? Really good, really good. Show the live stream, guys, nice. And we're munching on these, uh, as we we're picking right and then obviously in the cereals in the morning and stuff like this and just every now and then for the last couple of days so one of these buckets uh, let's see this is two liter 1.9 liter right this is i think there were five pound buckets of honey i believe or 10 pounds five pounds or 10 pounds i can't remember i think there were five pounds buckets of honey so what i want to do is I'm gonna pour the blackberries in here, okay? Hopefully we won't get too much spillage. Okay. 
and we're gonna pretty much fill it up. I might put sugar in the in the middle. Okay, and the sugar I'm using, I'm just using uh, organic cane sugar. I like to use uh, as many organic ingredients as possible. Right? Unpasteurized, unsprayed, like the blueberries that we make, the liqueur, they're unsprayed blueberries because usually blueberries, from what I understand, they get sprayed a lot. Look at these things. These things. Let me bring out a spoonful for you guys. Take a look. Look at this. Right? Fantastic. Blackberries. Take a look. Really nice blackberries. And this was the first um, the first bash that comes out. Blackberries are sort of partition they, they come out in three phases really there's a first bash that comes out that's really nice and then there is uh, and then two to three weeks later a whole bunch like tons of it comes out and then towards the end of the season you get another batch coming in and those ones tend to be uh, more on the sour side so the first batch is really good Oh, this is perfect. One bucket basically fills it up. Cool. You got like two spoonfuls left here. What I want to do, okay, so take a look. There's barely anything left in there, right? So basically a five pound bucket filled up a two liter jar, right? Not bad. So let's put this guy here for now. I'm gonna bring out the sugar. Let's put this guy here. And this is, we just, and this is another bucket of honey thing that we had. This was, oh yeah, these were the 10 pound buckets. You haven't seen these, these, these we bought, um, I don't know how many years ago. It was honey as well, right? These are the 10 pound buckets, so those are the five pound buckets, right? So I just filled these buckets up with honey. Uh, not honey, uh, with sugar. And usually I like the cane sugar to be a little bit darker, but uh, this batch that I ended up getting wasn't as dark take a look so this is just organic cane sugar okay and let's see hold on let's do this let's shake this up a little bit and i have this is one cup right i'm gonna do this let it settle down a little bit give enough room for the sugar to be put in there right take a look it just settles down so I'm going to take one cup, approximately one cup, right? Take a look. I don't want to fill it up too much because it'll spill. I don't want to spill sugar. So I'm just going to pour this in. And it looks pretty. Take a look, right? It goes down, right? You can give it a shake sugar goes down but all you have to do is really just pour vodka and it takes it all down and again like last time I'm just using absolute right and some people uh, from the previous liqueur videos they mentioned that you know oops, they mentioned that uh, you could get uh, gray goose vodka made at Costco really cheap and stuff and I went and checked it out. Unfortunately, I live in, uh, well, fortunately, I live in British Columbia. I love it here, West Coast, Canada. But unfortunately, they're not allowed to sell it here. Uh, I believe Alberta, you can, but here, they don't. Okay, and this is uh, 60 ounces. This is 1.75 liters. Okay, so that way, if you're keeping track how much vodka and stuff we're using. So we put about a little bit less than one cup of sugar. I'm gonna add more, right? I just wanna pour this in 
and let it filter through. You know what? Let's pour it in right now. Here, let's put the vodka over here because it's already drifted down. So I'm gonna add two liters, one cup. I'm gonna add half a more cup, okay? Later on, in like three weeks or so, I'll taste it. If it needs more sugar, I'll add it, okay? So because the previous one wasn't a full cup, right? So adjust for that, and you get about another half a cup, right? Take a look for the live stream. And this is, right? So if you take it down, it's about one and a half cups of uh, sugar. And I think that's going to be plenty. It might be a little bit on the sweet side, but that's okay. Because we're going to do multiple iterations on this one, right? And sometimes during the iterations, I don't add any more, any more sugar. little bit too much vodka right usually I like to keep you know a little bit more space there but this is good and what I want to do with this basically you close the lid and just give it a little rotation 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 and the sugar will dissolve right but what I end up doing uh, we're in summer we're in August right now okay what I end up doing is, I usually, right now it's a little cloudy outside, but I'm going to put this by the windowsill in our sunroom. And when the sun shines on it, it cooks it up a little bit, right? It heats it up so the sugar is easier to dissolve, okay? And it sort of gives it a little bit of sun goodness, I guess. And you can do this. Take a look. And the sugar just goes down, right? And I did fill it up too much. But that's okay. In a week, I'll drink some of it. Just to give it a taste, right? Take a look. The sugar just drips down. Okay. And it's filled to the rim, right? Almost. So we're going to leave this right now. And what I'm going to do is put it by the windowsill. Okay? So let's put this guy down. Now the next liqueur I want to make is, and we have some blackberries left here. I guess I'll have to eat those, right? Look at the color on those. Fantastic. Fantastic. And hopefully we're going to go through, uh, just so you know, uh, we're going to try to go through another picking round as well. So if we end up getting a lot more, we might end up making more jam. Uh, we're going to make a little bit tomorrow. Um, uh, blackberry jam but uh, if we do get more later because it looked like there was a lot there uh, ready it was gonna take another three weeks or so for them to come in um, hopefully we'll get more and we'll end up making more jam let's do let's put the vodka down here Oh yeah, let me show you how much vodka we used. That way you get an idea. So we ended up using, so if this is a 60 ouncer, 1.75 liters, we ended up using this much. So whatever that is, I don't know what that is, right? So if this is two liters, that's about a quarter. 
So this will be 500 mil, uh, just divided by four, right? Like a quarter of it. So, well, it's not two liters, it's 1.75 liters. Let's say 60 ounces divided by four, you get uh, 15 ounces, I guess, went into that, right? Yeah, 15 ounces, a little bit more, went into the blackberry liqueur that we just made, okay? And about five pounds of uh, blackberries, or in a five pound bucket, I don't know if it's five pounds because everything weighs different, right? So five pound bucket of, um, I should have maybe weighed it, but <laughs> we didn't. We just fill it up to the rim, right? Um, so five pound bucket of blackberries with 15 to 17 ounces of vodka and one and a half cups of sugar. That's our recipe. Major room for adjustment. <laughs> this is our pineapples. I just went and bought this today, this morning, and I cut it up, and it's really good pineapples. It's delicious, actually. Very nice. Let's bring a little, little fork. Really good pineapples. Fantastic, really. So we're going to fill this guy up. And I cut some of them small, and some of them bigger, okay? Because when we, because we do eat the fruit, for sure, in pineapples, right? So these are smaller. If you want to take a look at them side by side, we do eat the fruit. Um, not all of them, but those are two, right? Uh, and some people, because the fruit when in the liqueurs is stronger than the liqueur. Like really, when you make these liqueurs, like the blackberry, the lemon, all of them. The liqueur tastes sweet and delicious. We, and the, the fruits is delicious, but it's sharp. For some reason, the fruit tends to really absorb the alcohol flavor. Um, I don't know why. I don't know what the chemistry behind it is. So let's fill this up. I don't know if this is going to fill up the whole thing or not. Hopefully. Oop. Last one. I forget who it was that has made the pineapples and they said it's phenomenal. So I've been looking forward to this. Another one I want to make is, uh, that someone recommended, I believe, is blood orange. And the color on blood orange would be amazing, right? That's one of the things with this liqueur cabinet. Uh, visually, I forget what it's called, aesthetically or visually or whatever it is. It, it looks beautiful, the different colors. And this is one pineapple. So this thing takes one pineapple. That's good. Maybe a little bit more actually, but we don't have any more. Let's pour the juices in there too. Nice. We have one guy falls. Let's eat that guy. This is going to be fantastic, really. Just with the fruit, you can almost, almost tell what it's going to be like. And this is the ice I brought out to try some of the other liquor. So I'm just drinking the water so the ice doesn't melt as fast. I think that's the way you do it. Maybe I should have left the water. So one pineapple. We're gonna put, I'm just gonna put one cup of sugar in this, no more, because the pineapple is really sweet, okay? Nice. Here, let's put this guy here. Let's put the sugar away. 
so it's out of our way we don't accidentally knock it yeah we'll fix up the lid later and our vodka should we put a half a cup more no i'm just gonna put one cup and then taste it and that's the beauty of it right if you add a lot of sugar too much sugar then you're gonna have to drink it slowly on the rocks is amazing when they're really sweet just pour it put the put your take your cup put ice in it and then pour the liqueur on top and it sort of melts the ice a little bit and just give it a shake and it dilutes the liqueur a little bit right if you don't add enough sugar you can always add more sugar later on right so it's better to be more on the conservative side I think this one's gonna take more vodka, maybe, because there's more gaps between the pineapples, right? Which is okay. We just end up doing less iterations of this, right? And we're gonna keep. Uh, it was about here, so it's taking a little bit more in the quarter. Let's keep on going. I just wanna fill up. And that's exactly what you want to do. You want to fill it up to cover all the fruit, okay? So, take a look. It looks beautiful. Let's put the lid on it and just give it a little shake. And you can see, once this settles, all the pineapples are going to be filled up, right? Or topped up. And I should put the labels on these, eh? Might as well do it now. All right? Should we put the recipe in there too? <laughs> Our recipe. <laughs> so let's do this. This one was pineapple, 2019. 2019, August. Um, one cup one cup sugar and one pineapple one pine apple and about a third of 175 liters so one third i'm just going to go one third 60 ounces or 175 liter right 175 liter so one third uh, of 60 ounces will be 20, 20 ounces or so, right? Let's make it 20 ounces, okay? Approximately. So let's put that label on here. Let's put the pineapples here. Look at that color. It looks great, eh? And let's put the label on this too. And take a look. All the sugar is sort of already settling down and the ones that were here are sort of melting or not melting uh, dissolving into the vodka right so this one was um, five pound bucket five pound bucket blackberry blackberry 2019 august 1.5 cups sugar and about a third uh no sorry a quarter quarter of 175 liter which is basically 15 ounces ounces okay that's our labels i'm gonna put tape on it too okay tape. and Let's put the tape on this. Okay. And what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm just going to rearrange these. Put the bigger jars in the back, right? Nice. 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 Okay.
and we still have room a little bit of room here let me move this so you see and we still have a little bit of room here for a couple more uh, liqueurs that we can make okay so that's our liqueur making we have this much vodka that we can use to top up some of the other guys right so we need to go through and do the hard work of sampling some of them right so let's do this um, this is this one I know we're not gonna add anymore uh, plum good for dessert ice cream that's what I wrote down this is plum 2014 to uh, yeah 2014 good for dessert and this is again one of the pulps of a jam uh, that I made right and I just wanted to try it out because we do make plum liqueur and we have plum liqueur here and plum liqueur is fantastic uh, I just wanted to try it out with the pulp but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sample it sample this as well I just said it's gonna be good for ice cream and I think that's the case because it's very take a look it's very like show the video right like it's got the texture of a jam so and it's vodka flavored Mm. that would be fantastic on ice cream that's why I wrote it down okay that would be fantastic on ice cream we're not gonna touch that uh, and we're gonna put 10 out of 10 <laughs> let's put 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 right fun that was very good and this would be amazing amazing on a brownie heated up in the oven or fresh baking something with chocolate dark and pour this on top right wow it would be phenomenal and this has got all the seeds in there too right like the the because the, it's the milled stuff from making plum jam okay so we're not going to touch that one here is one plum that we've made this is just straight up plums cut in half right so and this I tasted last weekend and it's fantastic now I'm just gonna see if I'm gonna add I'm not gonna drink the liqueur because it's it's very little but I'm gonna taste this I tasted one of these uh, last week as well, but it was delicious. Very good. Should we add more vodka? No, I like the way it tastes. I'm not going to add any more vodka. Mm -hmm. You know what? Let's drink the liqueur. The liqueur can handle the additional vodka and still taste good then we'll add more vodka but I don't know if it will or not I'm not gonna bring this close I'm gonna do it here oops okay hold on let me do a little adjustment here bring a new fork because what happens when you pour because the fruit is all stuck there the liquid comes down but if you tilt it over a little bit too much the fruit falls over and it splashes right so be careful if you're doing this you don't want to things all of a sudden flopping down in the jars and just spilling over okay we might add a little bit more vodka take a look It's got some of the pulp in there. Right. Oh, that is so good. But it's like 
the last breath. We're going to add a little bit. Taking a risk, but might as well. Because there's probably, you know, a couple of ounces of alcohol in there, right? Um, more sugar. Let's add a little bit of more sugar. Let's bring this guy here. Now, I'm not going to add much. Very little. Just enough to compensate for... Because I love the flavor. Um, so I don't want to dilute it too much. Like here. Let me show you. Like, barely. This is like... What is that? Is there a setting on that? A quarter of a cup? Yeah, a quarter of a cup of sugar. Not even. Okay, I'm adding like an eighth of a cup of sugar. Okay? So let's put this over here. Make, give ourselves a little bit more space. So an eighth of a cup of sugar, okay? And we're gonna pour vodka on it. And this one, now I know I won't be able to taste for a while, right? And we're gonna write this down. Added sugar, August 2019. Okay, let's bring out the label. Add it, sugar, August, August 2019. Nice flavor. Let's put this here. Okay. Autumn olive. I haven't tasted this. Right? Take a look. It's beautiful. Autumn olive, we put out a video of harvesting autumn olive, two or three videos of harvesting autumn olives, right? That was before I made this liqueur. This liqueur we made last year, okay? During autumn, autumn olive, okay? Uh, it tastes, uh, autumn olives taste amazing. We've tried making jam with this. It doesn't work well because the seeds pop up too much, okay? But let's taste the liqueur. Let's see what we got. <laughs> oh, it's going to be very pungent. This is going to be very pungent. Okay. Let me do this here. A little bit of spillage. Good thing we got stuff catching it. Here, let me put this guy down for a second. And... Let me put this here. There we go. That way we don't get uh, this wooden box here sticky. Right? Take a look at the color. Right. See if we can get it. Nice color. It's gotten the, yeah, very nice. Very nice. I didn't think this was gonna taste that nice. That's super nice. Very unique flavor. Cool, cool, cool. Ooh. Autumn olive. We made it last year, so let me put a label on this. It doesn't need anything. So we're not going to mess around with it. We're going to go autumn olive. Autumn olive. 2018. Uh, ba, 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 ba. That was fantastic. 9 out of 10. That was very good. Very good, very good. Very good, very good. 
This is our labeling system, I guess, right? This is our pomegranate. I just recently had some a couple of days ago. Um, are we gonna add any more? I don't think we're gonna try to keep this going because I don't think it'll uh, it'll retain the flavor enough. Okay. I think all the pomegranates are spent they're not all spent they'll still taste good um, but it's going to be too strong way too strong and winter is coming so we can grab more pomegranates and make new batch right let me take a look at this it's very cloudy right beautiful color and we've got some pomegranate seeds in there right Yeah, it was amazing tasting. So good. And the seeds of the pomegranate. Whew, what a kick. I'm gonna add a little bit of vodka, no sugar. Just enough to cover them up okay we still have this much vodka left so when you're doing this um, if you go through multiple iterations it takes less vodka or gin less liquid to top up the fruit because the fruits settling down right this definitely is the last iteration well, almost definitely last iteration of this we're gonna do okay and we can give it a little shake because the sweetness was nice right so that's good enough okay let's move over our tanks because we've got business on this side this is our blueberry let's cleanse our palates The pomegranate was really nice and sweet, right? That's why I didn't add any more sugar. And after drinking something sweet like that, it's good to um, just cleanse the palate. Cherry 2018, frozen, one cup sugar, half a 26 of vodka. So 13 ounces of vodka went in this and uh, half a cup of sugar. Nice. Let's bring out a cherry. Let's pop a cherry. Let's pop a couple of cherries. Yeah, take a look. Nice color to them. Take a look at that. Right. Cherry takes on the flavor of the vodka really well. Let's cleanse the palate more. Got water here too. Let's give it a taste. Let's bring this guy out. This one we can do here, right? Very sweet. I'm just gonna add some more vodka. Okay. Mm. 
that's enough. Just a little bit, top it up. Should I even bother noting that we add a little vodka? Not really, we didn't add too much. It wasn't a full iteration, right? When it's a full iteration, there's no more liquid and I'm adding sugar and stuff. I usually take a note down, so give it a shake. This is the blueberry. The blueberries are really nice. Let's, let's give our hands a little wipe. That cherry was sweet as well. Okay, let's put a spoon. We're down to our last big spoon so i'm gonna put it in the plate and then pick it up with my fork a couple of blueberries right for the last stream for the video right get it in focus not bad Delicious. That's really good. Let's drink a little bit of it. So when you when you're pouring, you can just do this, right? Settle the fruit down. Let's put this here. Give it to the live stream. Again, nice color, beautiful color. It's a little cloudy because we've gone through it, right? Shaking it up. It's got a little bit of the, wow, that is fantastic. That is fantastic. Let's add a little bit more vodka. enough cover the fruit right put this back Ooh. give it a shake nice so should we put a label on that let's put a label on it Blueberry, blueberry, uh, 2018. That's when we made it, right? And it's the same recipe, uh, same stuff we added as the cherry. I know that uh, because they're beside each other. Just know where things are, right? This one, crab apple. I wrote down more time needed. Added. Uh, sugar one cup 2018 right cool I believe this is from 2016 that let's take a label down okay let's taste this let's bring out different shot glasses Look at color on that, eh? Beautiful. All right? Take a look. These are uh, crab apples we pick at a at a small town we go to. Okay. Added more sugar. Let's see what it's like. I rated this thing six out of ten before adding the sugar. Right? So let's see what it is now oh i should have poured it in front of you guys look at this look at this we'll do again all right 
Whoop. Get a little drip. Beautiful color. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that color. Right. That is a phenomenal color. Like live. Should I live stream? Look at that. Beautiful, eh? I think it's going to be strong. Mm. That's good. The sugar kicked the, took the kick away from it a little bit, right? That is really good. We're kicking up the rating on this. We're going to make it a... Seven. Seven point five out of ten. Seven point five out of ten. I'm not going to eat the crab apples right now. But they look beautiful. Look at this. Look at the color on that. Right? Beautiful color. This one's crab apple as well. I wrote down delicious. Eight out of ten. Let's check it out. This side needs more tape. I might have to add more vodka to this. Look at this. This is older, right? And I believe these are the red crab apples. It's the same as the the other one we have here that we gave it a. Oh no, that was. Uh, yeah, yeah, that was plum. So this is crab apple older, red crab apples. I think it's from the first batch of crab apple jam I ended up making. Let's have a taste of this. I'm not gonna eat the crab apple. I know they're strong. I've eaten one, I think, like a couple of weeks ago. Oh, I should be pouring this in front of you guys. I might add a little bit more vodka to this. Let's see. Right? It's very cloudy. Might not. Right? Once it gets cloudy like this, you know the fruit is totally disintegrating. So it only has a certain amount of life left in it. That is delicious. 8 out of 10. A little bit more vodka. We try to milk it as far as we can with these things, right? Once they get the, once they get the taste, uh, they get that flavor that you like. You just don't want to let it drain too much, right? You still want to retain that flavor, and then you add some vodka. Sometimes you add a little bit too much, and then later on you go, okay, you gotta add a little bit of sugar. It just is what it is, right? So let's put new tape on it. It's the same label. The tape was disintegrating a little bit. Cool. Nice. Now we got just a handful more to go through, right? This is You've seen this before, right? This is Cherry C's Grandpa Special, 10 out of 10, right? This is like 40 year olds. Like he made it in the 1980s. Found its way to me, right? So, let's have a taste of this too. Let me put the sugar away. If we need the sugar, we'll bring it back. If we need the sugar, we'll bring it back. Just checking on the live stream, <laughs> Speedy Gonzalez wise. I think we ran, ran out of uh, liqueur glasses. So let me do this. Give this a little, pour a little water in there. Give it a little whoosh. I 
I don't want the taste of this polluted. This one I'm going to pour here. Don't want to accidentally do a little spillage. Can you see? Oh, this is, this is phenomenal. I know exactly what this tastes like. I haven't added vodka to this for a while, for a long time now. Look at that. There, let me show you guys. Very cloudy, right? live stream oh wow magic okay pure magic this thing would go amazing with desserts as well it basically is dessert very nice very nice This is the same. I just split it up into two different jars. You can take a look. This one, I might add a little vodka. Let's check it out. I think the seeds, is the seeds covered for that one? Yeah, that one, all the seeds are covered. This one, the seeds, take a look. They're not covered all the way, right? Let's have a taste. Let's have a taste. I'm gonna pour a little water in this. Give it a whoosh. Let's have a taste of this. Oh, look at the color on this one. It's darker. Look at that. Here. Right? Your live stream seeing it. Wow. Phenomenal. Oh, do we mess with it? You know what? I'm going to add a little bit of vodka. Just a touch. Just so they're covered. Okay. That's it. We got this much vodka left. Okay. Let's close this up. Let's give it a shake. Let's open it up again. Let's see. I'm going to add a little bit more just to, so the seeds are covered. Okay, perfect. I can't tilt it too much, but you can see it's almost to the rim, right? Because the alcohol acts as a preservative as well. Cool. Let's take a look. This one, this is sea buckthorn. Okay. I consolidated a whole bunch of sea buckthorn uh, liqueur jars into one jar to a certain degree. And this stuff we picked, we set, I don't know, about six or seven years ago, uh, we made this, maybe a little bit longer. And uh, it's very medicinal. Like it has, uh, what do you call it? Uh, like sea buckthorn is good for you. It's got certain oils and minerals and stuff that I forget again what they are, but I know they're good. So sometimes if you, you know, want to sell the tummy, if you had a meal or every now and then just on the rocks. And the sea buckthorn, when you, when you drink it, when you eat it, it's very pungent, very, very pungent. Okay. And it's strong. This has got a kick to it. I give to some people, they're like, woof, too much. 
Some people are like, yes. What a kick, I ain't touching that, that's beautiful. For people that can handle a kick, this is like, this will blow them away, right? Fantastic. Fantastic. This one is cinnamon, okay? And these are the cinnamon sticks that we used for uh, the crab apples, one batch of crab apple jam, crab apple butter that we made, right? So it's just sitting there. I'm gonna be, I'm not gonna shake this around because the sediment is settled in at the bottom, right? If you can see. So I don't want the sediment to get mixed up as well. Just gravity has pulled it down. And the drink itself is pretty clear. So, Let's give, well, let's do this again. Give this a little whoosh. Okay. And this, medicinal. Take a look. I don't think I'm gonna to touch this. Okay. Again, very clear. All right, there's a little bit of sediment that you can see there. Oh, it smells amazing. Whew. Very strong, very strong, right? Give it a wipe, put it back. And just even this motion, it made it a little bit more cloudy, right? So when I pull this out, usually I'm very, very, very gentle with it. What we got here is um, Cornelian cherries. I got three Cornelian cherries here. Okay. That cinnamon, what a kick and a half to it. Oh, serious business, no joking. Feel it going through you. Take a look at this. This is Cornelian cherries. We picked these a while ago, okay? Let me bring one of them out. Okay, here, let me show you guys first. It, let's switch between. No, it's not focusing, is it? No. I showed a live stream. Okay. Let me put this here. I'm going to taste it. It's going to be, I think it's going to be more on the strong side, but we'll see. And it's got seeds in it, though. taste of the the liqueur the fruits uh, basically lost this flavor so it's just very strong alcohol flavor to it right so I'm not gonna do another iteration no matter what the liqueur tastes like All right. let's see what the liqueur tastes like that's enough we've had a fair bit of sampling for today right get it focused no? strong strong and all of these are about the same so i'm not gonna taste all of them right okay let's 
let's taste this one this one's lost the color too so this one is not gonna have that much flavor so these are on their last breath okay but let's have a drink of this as well I think this one tastes the, the flavor comes out a little bit better There isn't that much there, but let's see. Oh, it might be. Whew. Strong. Little sweeter than the other one, little bit more flavorful than the other one but they're on their last breath no more iterations for these okay and the last one is one of the ones that i like the most is the one i go to a lot is the lemon liqueur that we made that i made like i don't know probably nine years ago and i continue to add sugar and vodka to this so add it on add it uh, sugar one cup uh, vodka vodka about half a vodka bottle in 2018 so added a half a 26er in 2018 we're down to this right we do share this we are not luscious we have friends over liqueur dinner it's nice to offer a little liqueur right but for now we're gonna do a little sampling of this guy right i'm gonna give this guy a wash give our hands a little wash now i'm gonna put the cup down and pour this because otherwise it might get messy We gotta go gentle, 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 gentle. Nice. I love the lemon liqueur. Really. It's phenomenal. And eating these guys is fantastic. You can pop them. Right? It just breaks apart. I'm pretty sure we're going to add this to this. But we're going to taste it first. <laughs> Another nice stiff drink for our last drink. Right. Let's give our palates another wash. phenomenal if I want to introduce people to liqueurs this is the one I start with phenomenal this can handle this much I should be adding I'm gonna later on go get more vodka uh, and I'll fill this up okay but for now let's just add this there's a fair bit of gaps in there so it didn't move much <laughs> fair bit of space in there okay but it definitely needs more we can add another quarter of a 26er in there and it's without a doubt yeah chicho rating 10 out of 10 right fantastic awesome I'm glad we did I'm glad we got our hands some nice um, 
blackberries that got us doing this and uh, I forget who it was that recommended the pineapple liqueur very much looking forward to uh, sampling that okay I might add a little bit more sugar I know we only put like one cup I think but uh, hopefully I think the pineapple is really sweet so maybe one cup I think might be enough for it okay um, I hope you enjoy it we'll continue to come to the liqueur cabinet as we shift things up a little bit um, definitely we're gonna make some more pomegranate liqueur uh, this winter or early next year okay and we'll see this area sort of morph and shift and we definitely some things are on their last leg so we'll see you know how long they last and um, the gifts that were given away uh, I hope whoever gets them appreciates them okay uh, that's about it for now and I'll um, I'll see you guys in the next uh, video thanks for being here bye for now